What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're building a clean modern app using Dreamflow, Butterflow's new AI powered vibe coder, along with OpenAI and ChatGPT. Dreamflow is still new, but it's already turning out some solid results. As you'll see in the video, we do struggle with some specific features, but the end product is usable and a great starting point for a digital product. The app we're building is an idea tracker and journal for startup founders and entrepreneurs. So let's dive in. Okay, so let's get started building our app. The first thing we're gonna do is create the prompt. We'll do this using OpenAI or ChatGPT. Then we'll build the initial build in Dreamflow. Then we'll test the features, we'll refine, test again. And we might repeat four and five a couple of times until we are in a good place. So let's get started with the prompt. Okay, so I did already a little bit of chatting with ChatGPT. We came up with an idea, narrowed the focus a little bit, and refined the prompt. And this is what we came up with. So we have an app called Founder Fuel. It's a daily playbook for entrepreneurs. It'll include a daily startup prompt. It'll also include a founder's journal, an idea vault, and a weekly focus prompt. In terms of the tech notes, we'll have uh, the app using local storage, so no backend. We'll integrate with OpenAI for some of these features, and then we'll keep a clean and card-based UI with emojis, hopefully. So what we'll do from here is we'll just grab this prompt and then we'll head over to Dreamflow. We'll pass it, paste it in, make sure that everything is in there. And it is, and let's get to building. Cool, so this is gonna take a minute and It'll first it'll think about the prompt and it'll start building the screens as well as kind of all the auxiliary uh, items that are required. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we just finished building. You can see here we built all kinds of uh, pieces to the app. We have the home screen, the different screens, we've got the theme and so on. And we also here have some additional context it's repeating back to us a lot of our prompt. That's good. And we have some technical features. Looks like it at least says that it adhered to it. So that's good. And let's take a look. All right. So right off the bat here, we can see Okay, we're having issues with this daily prompt. That's probably because we haven't provided it an API key. So we'll do that in a second. Take a look at the journal. Okay, we have the ability to add an entry. Okay. Entry. Let's give that a try. And let's give it a hashtag. Okay, now did that work? That's the question. Did not yet. So we have some working to do here. Let's try to add an idea. Um, marketing, Let's see if that works. Okay, so the ideas seem to be working. That's cool. We can look at it. We can refine it with AI. That probably also does not work yet. And we have our focus. Okay, cool. So it looks like it basically wants you to do this on Monday, and then it wants you to evaluate on Friday. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Cool, so let's go ahead and refine this a little bit. First of all, I'm not a huge fan of this light bulb background, so let's let's make some notes here. Um, remove light bulb background image. From, uh, what is this, the daily prompt screen. And then the big other thing is uh, that the daily prompts are not generating. So we say daily 
prompt generation is not working. Um, update to utilize the following API key. Boom. Okay. Let's see what it does with that. Okay. So it did not like the API key. Let's try it again. Okay, interesting. Did a test run of this earlier and it did accept the API key. So that's interesting. Okay, so let's just go, let's just get this uh, light bulb out of here first. And then we'll think about how to approach this API key situation. Okay, so we've removed the image. I think that is already quite a bit better looking. Now, let's see. Okay, and I guess it was able to fix the daily prompt for us, even though it said it cannot use the API key. So, interesting. Let's see if it works again. Cool. So this is now working. Wonderful. So we've got a good, we're in a pretty good place here for the daily prompt. Not sure what happened here with the API key. Um, I've done this before and it did accept it. So I'm wondering if it actually accepted it and uh, just says it didn't. I don't know, but it seems to be working now. So that's great. So let's go over to the next piece. So we still have our idea, that's wonderful. And we have our journal. So let's just see if this again does not work. Yes, journal. Hashtag, try this again. Marketing and save entry. Okay. okay. So we've got the daily prompt working. It's failing to save journal entry. And for some reason it's giving us the error here. And besides that, I think we're almost there. So let's go ahead and refine this. So uh, for the journal screen, uh, center the text. Add first entry uh, within the button. And then the other thing we're having issues with is the saving of a journal entry. Um, fix saving of Entry. Really not working. So let's try that and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it did what it's supposed to. Okay, so add first entry is still off center here. Ah, okay, I see what's happening. There's actually a plus here. So we can add a note for that. Let's see if this is not working. I don't know. Hashtag website. Why not? And it says the journal entry is has been saved. But we're not seeing it. Okay. And we're still getting this error here. Okay, so we've got a couple of things here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and make the journal entries the plus the color as add first entry. 
uh, for and let's actually tell it what it's talking about. So other journal entries screen make the plus same colors on it. Um, button. Okay. Let's see. Now it's still not working in terms of adding journal entries, but maybe we'll break this apart. It seems like it's doing better if we're just giving it one thing to do at a time. So while this is doing this, let's think about what we want from this. So we still have some issues with the journal entries here. Number one, there's an error on the daily prompt screen after saving the journal entry. We don't want that. And the other thing is that the journal entries are not displayed back to the user after saving. So we'll see, hopefully after it fixes this plus for us, we can fix this as well. Okay. So, all right, it does not like changing the icon for us. All right, and that's kind of the issue with some of these vibe coders. So let's, let's just try this one more time. Test and test. And we've still got the error here as well. So let's let's see if we can get this journal working at least. So obviously this is a decent starting point. You know, we've got a lot of nice formatting and a lot of the functionality as well already. But this is why the ability to edit this project in Flutterflow really to get it across the finish line. It's going to be really interesting once it comes out. So I'm very excited for that. Okay, let's see what it does. Looks like it did make some edits here for us. Here we've got some error handling. That's always good. And let's see. Let's see if it'll resolve these issues for us. Okay, and we're back. So let's take a look at the journal. Let's go ahead and add an entry. Use this button this time. Test. And we'll say, um, again, test. And let's save it. So nothing has changed. OK. So what can we do here? So the ideas were working. Let's try this again here. Test two. Our idea. And we'll go sales. Save. Okay. So this ideas section is basically the same as the journal section. There's slightly different categories. So let's let's try that. So let's go in journals are still not working. Uh, use same logic as for the ideas for the journals. Okay, let's see what it does with that. It probably just got trapped in some sort of uh, inefficient or obviously non-functioning approach here. So let's see if we can bust it out of that approach, whatever it's trying to do and make it just do the same thing as the ideas thing, as the ideas screen, but for the journal side. Okay, so we tried to get this journal thing working for uh, quite some time and it just wasn't having it. So that sometimes happens when the chat gets too long. You know, we can see we're here on v13. Um, but we do have most of the features in here. So what we did is just remove the journals for now. And we're just gonna use the app with the prompt, the ideas, and the focus. So we have three out of the four feature sets that we wanted, and they're working quite nicely. We can refresh this, we can add our ideas, we can filter them down, it's very nice. Uh, this focus thing, we'd have to test out on a Monday and a Friday, we'll make sure to do that. Um, but yeah, we have three of the four features, which is you know a good starting point for sure. And if we could take this now and bring it into Flutterflow, I think it would really make it easy or it would be pretty easy to get this across the finish line from here. But not a bad start.
Nice. All right, that's it. Dreamflow is definitely showing promise, even with a few bumps along the way. If you found this video helpful or interesting, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me build next, especially with no code tools, AI, or some of these visual builders. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.